Joe Biden has taken a bold step by announcing executive action to tackle the crisis at the southern border, pointing to Republican resistance as the reason for sidestepping bipartisan legislation. Today, I'm joined by a bipartisan group of governors, members of Congress, mayors, law enforcement officials, most of whom live and work along the southern border. They know the border is not a political issue to be weaponized. The responsibility we have to share to do something about it. They don't have time for the games played in Washington, and neither do the American people. So today, I'm moving past Republican obstruction and using the executive authorities available to me as president to do what I can on my own to address the border. Frankly, I would have preferred to address this issue through bipartisan legislation because that's the only way to actually get the kind of system we have now that's broken, fixed, to hire more Border Patrol agents, more asylum officers, more judges. But Republicans have left me no choice. Adhering to the rule of law and respecting the constitutional boundaries of administrative power is crucial. However, Biden's decision to use executive power to handle border issues is seen by some as an overreach, bypassing the essential legislative process. Embracing bipartisan legislation ensures that critical policy decisions are made through collective and democratic means, not by circumventing checks and balances with unilateral actions. Typically, a strong stance on border security and strict immigration control is favored. There is significant skepticism about whether Biden's executive actions will effectively address the border crisis or worsen the existing problems. The promise to hire more Border Patrol agents and judges aligns with conservative priorities. But without broad legislative backing, the implementation and efficacy of these measures remain uncertain.